Happy Friday, everyone. Happy Friday. There's a lot on my spirit that I want to say to someone for this video. The more you go up in life, I don't know who this word is for, the more you're going to get unnecessary hate, jealousy, envy from people that were closest to you, even people that don't know you, the more you elevate and your status increase in life, your status, okay? Um, people can be cruel. People can be very cruel to you. And sometimes people just don't know what you had to go through to get where you are. People will hate you because you raised status in life. They will hate you for that. Here you are, you putting in the work to get where you are. You don't have anybody helping you. Only support you God is God himself, the Holy Spirit. And God decide one day that you've been putting in a lot of work for your life, trying to get your spirit right, trying to do the right thing. And somebody out there will just hate you for that and want to take everything that you worked hard for, for themselves. And then when that didn't work and they realized they didn't destroy you and say years go by, and you continue to elevate and elevate and elevate in life because God opening doors that no man can shut. The enemy will purposely send people to come and take from you. Come and steal your joy. Come and steal everything that you worked hard for. Who do the who what who in the hell do people like this think they are? Didn't they hear the commandments when God say, do not covet your neighbor's house? You don't know what that person had to do to get their blessings. You don't know what that person had to go through to overcome curses probably placed on their life or feeling unloved and unwanted by the world. So they decided to build, build they found their talent. They found what they were passionate in. And they decided to flourish from that. And you got envious people that just, just, just despise you for that. Be aware this season of when you raise a status, when you raise your status in life. Be aware of those that want to take from you. Be aware. Let God deal with these people because they clearly got some mental issues. Not only do they have mental issues, they thought you was to be played with and they thought you was going to be stuck somewhere. No, it's in you. It's not on the outside of you. It's in you. The gift God placed was in you. The reason why God raised you in status is because your heart was pure. Your heart was pure. But yet these people were mad because God chose to elevate you. If God got you raising in status and he removed everybody from you, don't let these people back in. I don't care if they're your blood relatives. I don't care who it is. Anything associated with your past, do not let them in where you are, especially if you raise statuses in life or you're better than what you were mentally and everything spiritually compared to what you were back then when they knew you be aware of who you let in your life because some people are not coming to uplift you some people really do covet what you have they hate that you have it they want what you got they don't care how they get it they don't care if they got a rob from you steal from you they want what you have because they are 
jealous or envious or just want to take from you because they feel like you're not the one that should have it. God said he don't need nobody's approval when he bless you. That's what God is saying. Hallelujah. I don't know who this word is for, but it's the reason why it's heavy on my spirit. God don't need nobody's approval when he decides to bless you. When he decide to elevate you and excuse me. When he decide to flourish you for the better. He don't need nobody's approval about that. We don't care because they hate, because they're envious, or because they're jealous. Just stay away from us if you come in with that spirit. This is the reason why God don't bless people like this. Because they are jealous and envious of the next person when God decides to bless them. This is why you can't tell people your business. God is putting his children in a season to keep your mouth shut. That's the season y'all in. Keep your mouth shut season. Don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Don't let people know nothing. Because they want to use that against you. To rob, take, and figure out how they can mess up your life. That's all people do. Because they're mad. Because their lives is miserable. And because you don't operate with the same energy they operate with. You never was the type of person to go out and hate on another person because they got something. Yet you had the very least of everybody, but everybody hates on you. I know exactly how that feels because I've already been through it. But God healed my heart from the foolishness and from these hateful folks. And he removed people out of my life that I felt like at a time they should be there. But God was saying they shouldn't. And it's hard. It will be a hard pill to swallow when some of the people are just your blood relatives. They don't mean you no good. As long as you down and out and not doing better than them, they ain't got a problem with you. But the moment you start doing better than them, when they thought you were supposed to be stuck in a rut or out on the street homeless somewhere, that's when everybody got a problem with you. And everybody want to monitor your life like this and scope you like you're nothing. Well, you're somebody to God. That's the reason why God gave you the position. God gave you your talent. God gave you your gift. Stir up the gift because he knew that he can trust you with that gift. These people ain't got your spirit. They ain't got your heart. That's the reason why it's so easy for them to be jealous and envious when you got something or when you got something they want. And because they didn't get it, they feel like it's okay to take from you. This is why God's saying to his children this season, don't tell people your blessings. Mm -mm. God's saying be quiet. Let people think what they want. Let people speculate. Let people do what they're going to do. But don't tell everything good that God do you. Because everybody's not happy for your blessings. That's just the world we live in now. They're not happy for your blessings. They're not happy because God opened doors to you because it's you. This is why God said, get away from your hometown and people that know y'all. You got to get away. Once you grow on a spiritual level in your mind shift, you got to get away from everybody that wants to know you. Especially if they ain't went nowhere in life. They ain't going to go nowhere. That's why they too busy hating on you. They want to take it from you, but you put in that work in that secret place to get where you are. They can't take that strength from you. They can't take the Holy Spirit power from you. They can't take that, but you can be careful who you let in your life. Everybody don't deserve to have a seat at your table. <laughs> Everybody don't deserve that. Let God deal with those that hurt you, mistreated you, or mishandled you. Let him continue to deal with these wretched, ratchet folks. Because they wretched and they ratchet. And I mean that literally when I say ratchet. Extra emphasis on the ratchet. <laughs> these folks didn't mean you no good. There was a movie that came on right now to go with this video. Help me, Holy Spirit. There was a movie that I just watched called The Twisted House Sitter. I don't know if you guys know Jennifer. I think her name was Jennifer. That's her real name. I can't remember the last name. But she played on You Got Served and a few other movies back in the day when B the, the popular group B2K was popular back when I was in high school. That's when they were popular. 
and I've been out of high school for about almost 2008, 2018, almost uh, just almost 20 years, y'all. <laughs> 2024 by 2028, that'll be 20 years I've been out of high school. Time is really flying. But on this movie, Twisted House Sitter, she had everything. She grew her business from ground up. She had a lot of followers on social media. This is the storyline of the movie. And you had this woman that came from the gutter, <laughs> came from the gutter, gutter life, was envious and mad because she had the life that she wanted and wanted to turn that woman's world upside down because she had the house, she had the mansion, she had the car, she had the boyfriend, she had... Even though the boyfriend was scandalous on the movie, y'all got to watch the movie. He was. He was looking to take from her too. She had everything because God blessed her with that because she grew her business from ground up and she was happy. And the woman had the nerve to tell her on the phone, I want what you have. I don't care how I get it. I don't care what I got to do. I mean, the woman was going, sleeping up in a woman's home, doing everything. And I felt like the Holy Spirit allowed me to see that, to let somebody know. And even for me, when he opens doors for y'all or want to bless you, you got to be careful who you tell your business to, even a little bit of information. Don't tell people nothing because everybody's not going to be happy for you. Some people coming because they want your life. And you might feel like you a nice, sweet person and, oh, this person wouldn't do me like that. They would. They would. Because it's you. Because you got the Holy Spirit's light in you. And these people got dark spirits and dark souls. Because it's you, they want to take from you. Because it's you, they feel like they should have what you have. But didn't want to put in the work to get where you are. And because God decided to reward you publicly, all the hate comes out. It's the reason why I don't deal with certain family members to this day. I don't care how nice they try to get or say they sorry. I'm sorry. They ain't sorry. Because if they were sorry, they wouldn't have did it in the first place. Let people do what they going to do. The more they hurt you, the more God going to bless you. Glory, hallelujah. I don't know who that word is for. The more they take and the more they hate you, the more God is going to bless you. Because your heart is not set like theirs. Your heart ain't like that. You didn't think to do to people what they did to you. You didn't think to be envious of others because they got something in life. But they did it to you. God see all that. God see all that. This is why you can't let everybody sit at your table. You and God built this together. Ain't nobody built this table with you but you and God. But yet these people want to take and take. And they will lie and scheme to take away from you. That's what they do. They will lie just to get what you got and what you and God built. Be aware of who you're letting into your life, especially when you raise status in life. Don't let people know nothing. Let them think you poor and you homeless. If that's what they want to think. You show that. You might be living in a 12-story house. Or a three, you might, a mansion, should I say, on a ranch somewhere. Let these people think you're poor. <laughs> you might can, you got enough money to buy you a whole bunch of clothes and outfits. <laughs> Wear that same shirt three times a day. So people can think you ain't got nothing to keep people out your way and out your business. That's just how we got to move. <laughs> Can't tell people nothing. You got to move like that. Can't trust folks. Because you never know who's coming for you and who's really for you and who's really against you. All because of what you got and what they ain't got. They want to turn your life upside down because they mad because it's something you got and something they want. And they ain't got it so they mad at you because you got it. That's the world we live in. So I thought the movie was, it, it struck a nerve because I've been through certain things like her on the movie. I've been through certain things like that. So I'm learning even myself. You just got to be careful. You can't tell people everything. You can't tell people your every move. 
You can't tell people the blessings God got for you. You got to just be quiet, especially the times of social media we live in. People mad at you because you got 5,000 followers and they don't. That's the world we live in. They mad because you got that and they don't. Can't be happy for nobody and wonder why God ain't blessing them. God is not going to bless mess. God is not going to bless a person that heart ain't right for somebody else when he blessed them. This is why these people don't get blessed. They don't get blessed because they're never happy for somebody else. The only thing they could do is take. Because they got the crabs in a barrel mentality. So they could just take, take, take from you. God is telling his children this hour. Hallelujah. God is telling his children. Silence. Let people think what they want. You continue to be royal. Why these people continue to be ratchet and stupid and childish or whatever wrong with these people. These mentally challenged people. Because you got the Holy Spirit and because you got the right heart posture towards God. God said he wants to bless you because of that. But be aware of those that want to come into your life to take your blessings from you after God blessed you with it. Keep the blessings that God got for you to yourself. If God opened up a door, don't be so quick to talk. Let people think that you're nobody. Sometimes you just got to. You are nobody. But what they can't take away from you, they can't take that Holy Spirit inside you. Because God is watching them too by the power of his Holy Spirit and what they do to you. He said he will bless those that bless you and curse those that curse you. Especially if you his anointed glory. Hallelujah. He's going to bless those that bless you. And he's going to curse those that curse you. You got to believe that this hour. He don't care because it's your mama and your daddy. If he anointed you, he anointed you. And if people are jealous of that or hate, hateful towards you because of that. Or people trying to figure you out don't know nothing about you. But they just going by how they knew you at a point in time and can't see the growth and elevation in your life. God is saying he's going to curse those that curse you. And he's also going to bless those that decide to bless you. These people didn't want to bless you. They wanted to stroke, throw curses your way. They wanted to take from you. They really thought they was doing something when they took from you. They don't even know that God got your blessing stored up somewhere. He only gave you a little bit. A little bit of the blessing. And you had all that hate. You had all that hate from these people that claim that you grew up around people from your hometown, certain family members, certain ex-lovers. They claimed they was for you. But as soon as God gave you a little bit, they showed their true spirits and their heart towards you. So imagine how they're going to be when God give you a lot. This is why you got to keep your mouth shut. Don't tell these haters nothing. Don't tell them nothing. What God got for you is truly going to be for you. And won't no devil in hell be able to take that. Because God gave it to you. But they tried it. And you just had a little bit. You just had a little bit of the blessing. And they already showed they behind. <laughs> they showed they behind. And you ain't even half much. You was just now getting up off the ground. From you going through spiritual warfare, spiritual turmoil. You finally healed from your trauma. And these people want to knock you down some more like the jealous devils they are. And yes, some of them people are your blood relatives. They want to knock you down more with they hating behinds. I'm trying to avoid cussing, y'all. Am I doing well? I hope so. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid from cussing. I think I'm doing well right now. I haven't said a cuss word. And even though I want to, but the Holy Spirit is working on me, even in that area. But you got some hateful people out here. They're devils. And the moment you go up in status, or if you got a little bit, they hate you more. Let God curse them that curse you then, since they want to be funny. Since they want to hate on you without cause. Or they mad because you put in the work to get where you are. And they find reasons to be jealous of you. Yeah, them people from your hometown too. Since they doing that, let God curse them. Since they cursing you. 
Because what they didn't know, you was God's anointed one. Because they don't have a relationship with God. That's why God can't bless them. You got a relationship with God. God knows you. You spend time with God. Through the power of his Holy Spirit. You know God. God knows you. God knows what you went through. He knows what he brought you up out of. He knows what he healed you from. And you healed and you're flourishing and you're prospering for the better. And God is saying this hour right now, and I hope this word saves somebody's life. Be aware of who you let in your life when you're raising status in life. Because you're going up and you're up and up. You're going upwards. And sometimes you just got to let folks fall by the wayside. Leave them behind. Let them hate on you at a distance. Since they always got something to say. Don't want to help you when you was down and out. And now you got status in life. Now everybody got their nose turned up because it's you. <laughs> to hell with them people. <laughs> to hell with them. I don't care who it is. Let them hate. You continue to be great. You continue to be great because the Holy Spirit told you to be great. Because his Holy Spirit lives inside you. You ain't just anybody. If they can't respect you, they can get the boot. This is the reason why God got you alone this season. He ain't got these people around you. Because their hearts ain't right. So please don't let them back in. They already showed you how they felt about you the first time. So when you up in status, don't bring the people back around. No, leave they miserable behinds where they at. Hating on you like they been doing. They ain't happy for you. They not happy for you. Because that's just how they are. They heart ain't right. That's the reason why God choose to bless you. And God is going to continue to prosper you and bless you. Because your heart is not set like theirs. Do not be like these people. Be opposite from them. Don't be like them. You continue to be that loving person. Forgive those that hurt you because God requires you to forgive. Forgiveness is for you, not them. Forget what they think about you, but don't let them sit at your table. They don't, they don't belong there. They don't belong there. That's why they ain't there. <laughs> so you need to stop crying about who ain't here around you when God is trying to do something in your life. Leave them where they at. They ain't been around you all this time. So why should you care that they ain't around you now? You don't. <laughs> Little do they know that you don't care. Because you know how these people operate. You know how people operate. They ain't always happy for you. That woman has some nerve on that movie to tell that woman that worked her business off the ground and got where she at in life and tell her, I want what you got. Even went after the woman with a butcher knife because of her life, because she had something she wanted, which was the stuff she worked hard for to get in life. And God decided to bless her on a movie. That was just the storyline of the movie. That was the storyline of it. But people will really do that. So be careful. God is saying, be careful who you tell your business to, who you bring around you this season. Who you tell your plans to. God said be quiet. Let people speculate. Tell them one thing even though you're working on something else. <laughs> That's what you got to do. Because everybody ain't going to be happy for you. They only coming around to take and see what they can get. They can't get nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Let these haters be haters. But you ain't got to give them nothing. If the Holy Spirit ain't direct you to help them, don't help them. Let them help themselves. A lot of these people need to help themselves on a spiritual level. They don't need to take from you. They need to get right with God. That's the reason why they got a problem. But God put these people in your path so you could be a light to them. But they still despise your light. So God said, okay, if you're going to continue to hate my child, I'm going to continue not blessing you then because you don't have the, heart, the right heart posture. You was the light that God brought around these people. You were that light. That's who you were. <laughs> and 
and they hated your light because they had something dark in their spirit that they needed to heal from and get right with God about instead of hating on you. <laughs> but no. Let these people think what they do is not is unnoticed. They think they get away with it. No, that's the same thing. That's you got plenty of stories in the Bible. You got them haters. Pharisees spirit. That's what you call them. The Pharisees spirit. These people were like Pharisees in your life. They like this. As soon as God bless you, they like this. Nose turned up. Mad. Because it's you. Your haters. <laughs> them demons that work through them. Glory. Hallelujah. That's them demons working through them. They got a Pharisee spirit. They arrogance and they pride. Got them believing they better than you. Because they father is Satan. They father is the devil. And your father is Yeshua Hamashiach. Yahweh, the heavenly father. So that's why they hate you. Because you of light and they of darkness. God said be aware. When he start blessing you. And when he finally give you them blessings. Don't tell everybody. Sometimes you just got to keep it between you and God. And just thank God in your prayer closet for them blessings. And let people think what they want. Because they going to think the wrong thing anyway. Don't tell them nothing. Let them continue to hate. I pray that this word delivers somebody because it's the truth, y'all. People hate that God bless you. People will really take your life over something God gave you as a blessing. People be mad because you're prettier than them. That's just the world we live in. That's the world we live in. They mad and portray the world like the the. The role, I'm sorry, they will portray a role like they your friend just so they can take from you. And the moment you say no more, they're ready to take your life. It's sad. God said be aware of these people, these snakes. Cut your grass so you can see the snakes. Because there's a lot of snakes out here. And everybody don't mean you no good. And yes, I said that they snakes. <laughs> they snakes. And that's all they're going to be is a snake. Because that's how they operate. But you got to protect you and your energy. And the blessings that God gave you this season. You got to protect it. Forget these people. If God want to bless you, he can bless you. You put in the work to get where you are. And can't nobody, can't no devil in hell, not even Satan himself, can take that away from you. Glory, hallelujah. Bless his holy name. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Rock, Aquadash. If anybody don't know what that means, that means Heavenly Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's who rule over your life. So once that hedge of protection is there, they can't touch nothing. You fight for what's yours because it was already yours. And if somebody comes to take you, you fight. Because that was yours. That's your blessing. What gives them the right to take anything? They have no right. They just coveting what you got. Breaking God's ten. One of God's holy commandments. Coveting your neighbor's house. And what they had. Mad because they ain't got it. Let these people be miserable. They gonna be miserable. And you keep shining bright into the bright future that God got for you. If you reach to the end of this video, it's meant for you to hear it. Everybody don't deserve to know your blessing. But you keep glowing and growing over Because that's what the Holy Spirit requires you to do. Until next time, family. Bye-bye.